Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another love it or leave it. Okay, and for today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Veramona color switch wheel, and this is the solo version. What it looks like, it comes inside this tin, and it says color switch on the front in this purple lettering. When you open it, it has this. I don't know how to explain this. This, um, it's almost spongy, but it's not a sponge. It's like more coarse. It's, you know, you have some hair donuts that are of the same texture. It's the solo one, so it doesn't have the white part in the middle that you would wet to wet your brushes and then clean it. But it still works. This I got, I think it was around $16, $17. I'll put the correct price up. And I got it when I was at BeautyCon at the Ricky's New York City booth. So... <sighs> I saw this, I first saw this um, product on, I think it was Coffee Break with Danny's. I think it was on Coffee Break with Danny's um, YouTube channel. And she showed it, and I was like, oh, that's really interesting. Yeah, so basically, how it works is that you take a brush that you have um, color, pigment, anything on, and then you, well, not anything. I would not recommend, I don't think it would work with like creams, foundations, or anything like that. And so like a powder brush, so let's see, so I'll take this one. It has blue eyeshadow from the tutorial that I just did and you would take it and you would rub it in here and then slowly you would see the color start to transfer onto the color wheel. Like it has a bit of pink from when I was doing the pink on my eyes and I use the same brush. So yeah. But the thing that really confused me at first is that the color doesn't completely come off the brush. But however, when you like rub it to try to check and see, there's no, no color comes off it. So it doesn't have any pigment on it, but the brush is almost kind of stained in a way. So that's one thing to think about. And it does, you know, your brushes might fray a little. Which I think you can fix by wash. When you wash them, you just, you know, reform them. I definitely do like this. If, however, if you can't find the hair donuts, I think... Those will be more worth your money than this because it's sixteen dollars, and I think the one with the the white part in the middle is um, twenty four. I think I saw it, but I'm not sure. So this is a love it. I think this is very convenient, especially if you're a professional makeup artist and you need to switch colors quickly and don't have time for wetting your brushes. If there's something that you think you would need, like you have, a, if you don't have that many brushes and you need to switch them out, then. This would be good, but then at the same time, at the same time, the cost of this could be around one or two brushes, depending on where you buy them. So if you need to switch colors on certain brushes, like if you want to use the same brush for a different color, then this is something to invest in. That's it for this love it or leave it. If you like this type of video, please give it a thumbs up so I know. Leave comments below any suggestions of any other videos or any other products you would like to see me do a love it or leave it on. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.